Today I want to try and answer a question that uh, someone submitted through a support group chat. This person wanted to know, if I use CBD oil, will that make my sleep apnea more severe? Hi, I'm Dr. Hamilton Stubbs. I'm a board certified sleep doctor and I'm a trained nutrition specialist. And this is my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. So the short answer is CBD oil has not been shown to make apnea worse. In fact, it has been shown to decrease the number of apneic events. But the reason that it does that may not be such good news. So what scientists have found is that the CBD oil will increase your wakefulness after sleep onset and it changes the structure of your sleep so that you get less dream sleep and more slow wave sleep. What this means is that if you're not going into dream sleep where the body is more relaxed, most of the muscles are paralyzed and you have an increased risk for cutting off the airway with apneic events if the gravity is pulling the tongue down, uh, you will have less apnea, but then you don't want to have less apnea because you're not getting dream sleep. Dream sleep is essential to your memory. And CBD oil has been shown to affect memory over long periods of time. Uh, teenagers who are smoking or adolescents who are smoking marijuana or taking THC and CBD have been shown to have problems with their memory and they're losing some of their IQ points. The other reason that it could be causing a lower number of apneic events is because there's more wakefulness after you take it. That doesn't mean that you wake up and you're fully conscious. You could just be going to lighter stages of sleep and that increases the muscle tone. And with increased muscle tone, the airway is less likely to collapse. So the answer to your question is the CBD oil has not been shown to make apnea more severe, but the reasons that the apnea may not be more severe and could actually be reduced could be detrimental to your health. My suggestion is to try to find out why you still need an aid to help you fall asleep if your sleep apnea is treated. Is it being treated correctly? Do you need adjustment with your equipment, the mass, tubing, the pressure, the sound? Or do you have another sleep disorder? Um, those are things that you might want to just talk with your healthcare provider about. The other thing is to look at your environment. And don't forget about stress. There's all types of stress going on now, especially with COVID-19 and the loss and, and illness of our loved ones. Also, are you able to exercise? And what are you eating? Food plays an essential role in our health and also in our sleep. So take a look at the things that you're eating and what are you doing in the 30 minutes before you go to bed. Try to figure out why you still need CBD oil if your CPAP is controlling your apnea. If you found something on this video useful, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time when I answer another question from the support group chat.